Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of open source AI dev tools. These projects are revolutionizing how we build software, and I'm pumped to share some of the best ones with you. We'll be looking at tools that can simulate human behavior, integrate AI into your apps, and unlock the power of AI on your servers. Get ready to level up your development skills because these tools are game changers. Project number one, Tiny Troop, simulating humans to understand humans. Let's talk about Tiny Troop, an experimental Python library from Microsoft that's changing the game in AI. Now, we've all heard about AI assistants like Siri and Alexa, but Tiny Troop is doing something completely different. Instead of building AI to help humans, it's simulating humans to understand them. Imagine a world where you could run realistic simulations of people with unique personalities, interests, and goals. That's Tiny Troop. This project is all about enhancing human imagination and gaining business insights. Let's say you're launching a new product. With Tiny Troop, you can create a simulated focus group and see how different people react to it. You can test out different marketing campaigns, get feedback on project proposals, or even see how people might use new software features. It's like having a crystal ball for human behavior. What makes Tiny Troop so special? It's persona-based, meaning you can create incredibly detailed simulated people with backstories, jobs, opinions, and even daily routines. And because it's multi-agent, you can have these simulated people interact with each other in a simulated world. Think about it. You can observe how a group of doctors might react to a new medical device or how a group of teenagers might use a new social media app. But here's the kicker. Tiny Troop acknowledges that humans aren't perfect. It simulates human fallibility, opinions, and unpredictable behavior. That's something you just won't find in a typical AI assistant. So if you're looking for a way to gain a deeper understanding of your customers, test out new ideas, or just explore the possibilities of AI, then you need to check out Tiny Troop. It's a powerful tool that can help you unlock a whole new level of insight. Project number two, NeoHTOP, your system monitor supercharged. Let's check out NeoHTOP a powerful system monitor that's taking things to the next level. If you're tired of boring, old-school terminal interfaces, NeoTop is here to revolutionize the way you monitor your system. This open-source project is built on a cutting-edge tech stack, SvelteKit for the front-end, Rust for the back-end, and Tori to bring it all together. What does that mean for you? A beautiful, modern interface that's super responsive and easy to use. Say goodbye to clunky terminals and hello to a system monitor that's as sleek as your favorite apps. But it's not just about looks. Neo HTOP is packed with powerful features, including real-time CPU and memory tracking. Imagine seeing exactly what's happening on your system, updated live. Plus you can search, filter, and even kill processes right from the app. Need to find a specific process quickly? No problem. Neo Atop's advanced search lets you search by name, command, or PID. You can even use regular expressions for super specific searches. And the best part? Neotop is cross-platform, meaning it works seamlessly on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So no matter what system you're running, you can enjoy the power and beauty of Neotop. Head over to the GitHub link in the description to download it and give it a try. Trust me, once you go Neotop, you'll never go back. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Project number three, Together TypeScript, unlocking the power of Together AI from your server. Hey developers, are you ready to supercharge your applications with the magic of AI? Today we're looking at Together TypeScript, the official TypeScript library for Together AI. Now, if you're building server-side apps and you wanna tap into the awesome capabilities of Together AI, this library is your golden ticket. This project isn't just some random AI library. It's all about giving you a smooth and reliable way to access the Together AI platform right from your TypeScript or JavaScript code. Think of it as a direct line to cutting edge AI models and features, ready to be integrated into your backend systems. What's so cool about Together TypeScript? First off, it's built with TypeScript, so you get all the benefits of type safety and better code reliability. Plus, the library is packed with clear documentation and helpful examples, so you can easily figure out how to use the API and get the responses you need. And if you're building something that needs real-time interaction, Together TypeScript has your back with support for streaming responses, making your app feel super responsive. And let's not forget about error handling and automatic retries. The library takes care of those tricky situations, so you can focus on building awesome features. But wait, there's more. You can even customize things like timeouts and fetch clients, giving you the flexibility to tailor the library to your specific needs. Project number four, 
voice react agent, let your AI talk back. Hey everyone, let's check out a super cool project that lets you build a voice controlled AI agent. It's called voice react agent, and it's based on OpenAI's powerful real-time API and Langchain tools. Imagine having an AI that you can actually talk to and it can respond in real time using its voice. That's what this project is all about. It takes the React Agent framework, which is known for its ability to use tools and reason through problems, and gives it a voice. This means you can interact with it more naturally, just like you would with a human assistant. So how does it work? The project uses Python and TypeScript to create a server that handles the communication between your voice, the AI, and the tools it uses. You can easily add your own custom tools, like a search engine or a calendar, and the AI can use them to complete tasks based on your voice commands. You can also tweak the instructions to guide the AI's behavior. What makes this project so awesome is that it combines the power of language models with the convenience of voice interaction. It's like having a super smart assistant that can understand your requests, access information, and even perform actions for you, all through the power of your voice. Head over to the GitHub link in the description to check out the project and start building your own voice-controlled AI. Project number five, Together AI Dart, integrating Together AI into your Dart projects. Hey, Flutter developers, have you ever wanted to add the power of AI to your apps? Today, we're looking at Together AI Dart, a Dart package that lets you easily integrate the Together AI API into your projects. This means you can use all sorts of cool AI models, from chatbots to image generators, right within your Flutter applications. This package gives you a simple and intuitive way to interact with the Together AI API, offering features like text and image generation, support for multiple AI models, including chat and image generation models, and robust error handling. It even has strongly typed responses, which makes your code more reliable and easier to read. Now you might be thinking, but setting up API keys can be a pain. Don't worry, Together AI Dart has got you covered. It provides clear security guidelines, emphasizing the importance of protecting your API key and recommending the use of environment variables for secure storage. This project also stands out because it's open to contributions. If you find any issues or have ideas for improvements, you can submit a pull request on GitHub. So if you're a Dart developer looking to supercharge your projects with AI, head over to the GitHub link in the description to check out Together AI Dart. With its easy to use API and comprehensive features, you'll be building AI powered Flutter apps in no time. Project number six, Themer your one-stop shop for beautiful, consistent themes across all your apps. Hey everyone, are you tired of your dev setup looking like a mismatched jigsaw puzzle? I know I am, but fear not, because today we're checking out Themer, a fantastic open source project that takes the headache out of theme creation. Themer lets you create stunning, consistent themes for all your favorite apps, from code editors and terminals to wallpapers and even web browsers. It's like having a personal design assistant that ensures your entire digital workspace looks sleek and cohesive. Here's the coolest part. Themer works by taking a set of colors you choose and then automatically generates themes based on those colors for a ton of different apps. No more fiddling with individual settings or struggling to match shades. Plus, you can even create your own custom color sets and share them with others. But wait, there's more. Themer isn't just limited to pre-made templates. It also provides a powerful API that lets you programmatically generate themes and customize them to your heart's content. So whether you're a casual user who wants a quick and easy way to beautify their setup or a power user who craves ultimate control, Themer has something for everyone. Head over to the GitHub link in the description to check out Themer and start theming like a pro. You'll find everything you need to get started, including detailed documentation and tons of examples. Project number seven, GoSub, building a browser engine from scratch. Hey, coding enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of browser development with GoSub, a project aiming to build a browser engine from the ground up using Rust. You might be familiar with popular browsers like Chrome or Firefox, but have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes? GoSub opens the hood and lets you explore the intricate components that make browsing possible. GoSub still in its early stages, aims to create a standalone browser engine that can be used by other projects or as the heart of its own browser user agent. The project already boasts impressive achievements, such as parsing HTML5 and CSS3 into a document tree and rendering basic web pages. This engine takes a stream of bytes, likely from a file or socket, and transforms it into a structured HTML5 document tree with CSS style sheets. This tree can then be rendered in various ways, either in a traditional window or even a terminal. But GoSub isn't just about rendering. 
It's about building a complete browsing experience. The project also includes components like a networking stack, a JavaScript engine for interactive elements, and a configuration store. The developers envision a future where GoSub powers a fully functional browser, bringing a fresh perspective to the browsing landscape. And that's a wrap on some of the most incredible open source AI dev tools out there right now. I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring. Be sure to check out the links in the description to explore these projects further. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time, happy coding.